Hello everyone, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what you need to know currently in different aspects of your life. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what you need to know currently is standing your ground, ready for battle, bad choices. We also have the Nine of Pentacles and we have Destroyed, okay? So, I feel as though with this energy, Spirit wants you to stand your ground. Some of you have been defending yourself against someone or you may feel the need to defend yourself in the near future. I feel as though for some of you, there is someone that may have um, destroyed the trust between the two of you or this person did something they may have even done something to try and um, shatter you or to make you feel broken. Whatever this person did, they are aware that they effed up with you, okay? I feel as though this person is someone that makes a lot of bad choices and things such as that. But I also feel as though when it comes to you, there's a lot of abundance coming your way, a lot of success, a lot of achievement. A lot of you are going to be seeing a lot of money coming in. Um, Spirit wants you to be careful about um, making major purchases. Just make sure that if you do have to make a major purchase or spend a large sum of money in the future, just make sure that it's something that's of your highest good. You know, just be careful about what you're spending your money on now for some of you i feel as though um i feel like there's someone someone is feeling some type of way toward you okay and it may be in regards to your success or it may be in regards to you choosing to be independent from this person Whatever choice that you made, make sure that you stand your ground. Be ready to defend yourself. Don't give in to this person because I feel as though this is someone, whether it's a lover, a family member, a friend, this person, I feel like they're the type that would always, whenever you deal with them, you always end up feeling some type of way they always end up messing things up between the two of you it's like this is someone that you can't trust especially with the five of swords being at the bottom of the deck i also feel as though spirit is um urging you to choose your battles wisely every um some things just don't deserve a reaction because it's almost like there's someone here that either wants to fight with you or they may come toward you with this energy in the future. It's like they're going to try and get you to react, but it's up to you to make the choice not to um, give this person what they want. It's like somebody's going to be coming toward you with petty energy. So spirit wants you to hold back. Also, um, those of you that are saving money, spirit is urging you to continue doing so. Spirit wants you to save more money. Okay. Um... Just be careful about the situations that you that you give energy to because there's someone that wants you stuck in your head, okay? Someone wants you stuck in your head. They don't want you to feel happy. For some of you, um, you may feel a little stuck, whether that's now or in the near future. It's like you don't see that there's happiness, there's success, there's victory, there's a lot of growth right around the corner, I see some good news coming in for you guys. Also, Spirit wants you to cut out people that um, just want to come in and waste your time. Hmm. There's someone that you love very dearly. It could be or you did love very dearly. It could be someone um, that you had a relationship with. For some of you, it could be a family member or a friend. But there's someone you've been standing your ground with. You may have cut this person out because of their lies, their deceptive behavior. There's someone that's also very sneaky. Be careful of people trying to take from you. That may be why Spirit is saying to save. Because for some of you, 
there's someone that wants, it's like they want to ask you for something. They may want to ask you for money or they may want to ask you to help them out with something. But whatever it is, spirit wants you to hold back from it. Because this person isn't going to be telling you the complete truth about everything. Like they're telling some lies. They're trying to get away with something. Hmm. Someone, there's someone that's really sneaky. And they really think that they can get away with it. So it's going to be different for everyone. Um, regardless, a spirit is saying that you have a lot of clarity. Be careful about um, people coming in telling you lies. And like I said, that could be anyone around you. But just be careful about people not giving you the full truth. Hmm. Also, if any of you have had to spend out some money or something and you're regretting a purchase or regretting not saving or something like that, Spirit is saying everything's going to be okay. You're the Empress. You know, that money is going to be blessed back to you. This may be future energy for some of you. Like I just see a purchase someone ends up regretting or like helping someone and then you end up regretting it later. So just be careful about that. Also be careful about holding on to the past because I feel as though um, for some of you, there may be times where you think about the past. It could be someone that you're holding back from or even someone that's holding themselves back from you. But spirit is saying, whoever it is, it's not a loss. Like your blessings are about to flow in abundantly. Okay. And whoever this is, they're not meant to, um, you're, it's not meant for your blessings to be shared with them. Hmm. There is a situation that you've been moving away from or distancing yourself from. Okay, Spirit wants you to know that everything is going to get better for you. Your steps are ordered. For some of you, I see like a trip that you might be taking or you may need to take a trip, may need to go on vacation. Hmm. Also, I see an argument or a fight that may come up in the future if this hasn't already happened. But Spirit wants you to move away from drama. So anyone that's causing drama in your life, or anyone that comes to you with drama, move away from it. Some of you are actually wanting to move. Like, move, like, physically. Move locations. Hmm. Yeah, don't let anyone come toward you with drama. Just, go, you know, don't, don't. Don't let anyone bring drama your way because there's someone that's going to come in wanting to stress you out. And it's because they feel like it's all out of ego. This is someone that feels as though you're doing well for yourself. You're doing better without them in the picture and they want to bother you. OK, because they see you as the star. You're going to get everything that it is, everything that you want, anything that you want, you have the potential to get it okay but you're gonna have to um fight for it like you you can't give up don't give up hmm for some of you um when all of these blessings pour in for you you're gonna have some people that turn on you and i'm telling you for some of you it's gonna be family it's gonna be family for others of you it's gonna be just people around you just jealous people the same people that are acting as though they're clapping for you, they're going to end up turning on you. But continue to do what you have to do. Spirit wants you to persevere, to be courageous. Okay? Also, be careful about people from your past coming back toward you, wanting a new start with you, wanting to telling you that they want things to work out between the two of you. Because for some of you, you have opportunists around you that feel as though if they are connected to you, it's going to bring good things into their life. So it's almost like there are people that are looking to leech off of you. Hmm. It's like they want to say things to draw you back toward them. But spirit wants you to continue focusing on work. Whatever you do for work, focus on it because I see more money coming in for you. Hmm. 
there's also someone that has a deep connection to you that feels deeply connected to you this may be um either a twin flame or a lover for some of you it could even be a friend but um whoever this person is i feel like this is someone you need to hold back from because this person, I see them being emotionally unstable. So take that however it fits. Like I said, this is more of a general reading than a love reading. So there's a lot of different things here. Like I said, just um, for some of you, there may be someone that's wanting you to give them a large sum of money or some of you may um, in the future have a purchase that you want to make, but you may end up regretting that purchase. So just be careful with that. Spirit also wants you, um, like I said, you guys have a lot of abundance coming in for you, but Spirit wants you to be wise with the abundance that they're blessing you with. The abundance that God is blessing you with, Spirit wants you to be careful with it because these are your blessings and not everybody is meant to take part in it. So, yeah, you just have some people or someone around you that is not of your highest good, that can't be trusted at all. But um, anyone that has been lying to you, there's going to be some truth that comes out in regards to that. And they're going to regret even lying to you in the first place. Someone's sneaky. Like they're trying to get away with something. That's weird. So, yeah, there's a lot going on here. But, yeah, just be careful about the choices that you make. Like I said, even if it's a person that you have decided to become independent from, Spirit is saying you're better off on your own. So, you know, be careful when it comes to that person as well because they may try to come back in, okay? And Spirit wants you to stand your ground. Also, make sure that you're setting the record straight. Say what you mean, mean what you say, okay? You also have some envious people around you. People that envy, envy you. They're, um, they're toxic. Hmm. Let's see what else comes out. Give me more, Holy Spirit. What do my viewers need to know at the time that they watch this reading? What do my viewers need to know? The most important things that they need to know at the time that they watch this reading. Two more shuffles. Okay, so let's see what else comes out. All right, hater. Didn't I just say that you guys had people that was envying you? You got haters. Thank you for the confirmation, Spirit. Also, there may be people that's um, gossiping about you. You definitely have people watching you, but you have haters. You have haters. Give me more. What else do my viewers need to know currently? So that's why Spirit is saying be careful about the people that you're around. And some of you, even if you're not around anyone in particular, maybe you say to yourself, you still have haters. We have movie date and we have pregnancy tests. So for some of you, um, oh, sick is at the bottom of the deck. So for some of you, there's a pregnancy or there may, there may be a pregnancy scare. Be careful if you're not looking to have children. If you are able to have children, just be careful because um, there may be someone that wants to take you out on a date or someone that wants to spend time with you. And if you have an intimate encounter with that person, there may be like a pregnancy scare for some of you. Now, for others of you, if you're not able to have children, I do see that there's someone that's going to want to take you out. This person sees you as someone that they can grow with. For some, it could even be if you are able to have children, you feeling sick and being afraid that you may be pregnant or someone's pregnant or someone's unsure if they are. Give me more in regards to what my viewers need to know. The most important things that my viewers need to know. For some of you, if you are able to have children, now with movie date, because if you're going on a, I heard show. Okay, so if you're going to a movie, it's like you're going to watch a show, right? So just somebody might be putting on a show that they're 
that they may be pregnant, but this person may not be, okay? May not even be able to have a child, or even if they are able to have a child, they're putting on a show. We have divorce, breakup, breaking contracts, okay? So for some of you, you've gone through a breakup. There may be someone that you need to break things off with. If you haven't as of yet, Spirit is saying this person is trash. So even if those of you that have gone through a divorce or if you've gone through a breakup spirit is confirming that person's trash they need to be thrown away you need to get rid of them toss them out so that's confirmation for some of you because they know that they effed up okay that's crazy i shouldn't be laughing whoever it is they were playing a lot of games with you give me another message what's the most important thing that my viewers need to know what's the most important thing thank you private relationship so for some of you, um, if you do get in, excuse me, if you do get in a relationship, Spirit is saying you may want to keep that relationship private. Just be careful about letting people know what's going on in your life, and that can be in regards to any relationship. The relationship within your family members, the relationship with within um, your social circles, or any type of relationship. Whether it's a, a lover, a friend, someone that you meet. Remember I said for some of you, there's going to be someone that wants to take you out. Whatever you do, just make sure that you keep things private. Move in silence. Hmm. Um, also, some of you may suddenly feel like some depressive energy. I hope not. Okay. But spirit is saying just use caution with having like depressing thoughts or feeling like something is missing in your life. Be careful with that. Um, if you are ever feeling that way, just make sure that you stay centered. Make sure that you align yourself. It's important for you to feel balanced. So yeah, just be careful with any, you know, um, depressing thoughts or even possibly depressing people. Use caution with those people, okay? Don't let people unload onto you. For some of you, it could even be a family member that's doing this. Like you go to spend time with them or you talk to them on the phone and they just unload their junk onto you. Just be careful with that. Hmm. Yeah, use caution when it comes to that. Give me one more card for what my viewers need to know. What am I, what's the most important thing my viewers need to know? All right, so we have getting played, manipulation, lies, controlling, pulling the strings. That fell out right on top of that divorce, breaking contract card. So yeah, whoever you feel as though is playing you, this person, they know that they're wrong, regardless of who it is, okay? So spirit is confirming, yeah, throw the throw the connection away get rid of them toss them out because this is someone that just wants to manipulate you they tell a lot of lies they like to pull the strings hmm and for some of you like i said it it could be in regards to someone else like there could be someone around you that you need to break off from this is someone that may be depressing Someone that all, every time you look around, something's wrong with them. You know, you have your own things to deal with. It's okay to be a shoulder to cry on, but dang, you need to be able to stand on your own a little bit, okay? Like, they make bad choices, then they want to come crying to you because they, you know, feel shattered or broken. Like, they have to be able to stand their ground as well. Ooh, so, take that however it resonates. There were a lot of messages that came out here. Wow, so that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time, bye.